Welcome to video 5, Cleaning Methods Manual. My name is Alan Gregory, the Technical Manager for In-Depth Hygiene Services Limited. Duct Entry. It should be noted that no person should enter duct, duct work unless they've attended separate confined space awareness training. Your supervisor will carry out a risk assessment and the client will issue you with a permit to work. This section only deals with the specific principles relating to ductwork cleaning and does not cover in detail the particular risks associated with confined spaces. On some ductwork sections it may be necessary to actually physically enter the ductwork in order to effectively clean it. Entry into the confined space should only be undertaken when absolutely necessary and all other alternatives have been exhausted. Before entering any ductwork, ensure its suspension mountings are secure. If any doubt, then bring in other support means, that is, other suspensions or tower supports from ground level. Also ensure that the ductwork is adequately ventilated and there is a safe means of escape. A safety man should always be on standby outside the ductwork to assist if the person inside becomes trapped or in danger. If when crawling in ductwork you encounter screws or jagged metal, then cap the screws with plastic raw plugs and hammer the jagged edges. You can see these easily going forward but in an emergency you may not see them going backwards. Once done they protect everyone on the next clean. Do not proceed if the ductwork slopes downwards. Remember, not all drawings are up to date. The slope may be leading to a vertical riser of hundreds of feet. Always be safe. Stop, leave the ductwork, investigate and return after donning full safety harness, which must be fixed to a secure mounting. Cleaning methods when crawling in ductwork will generally be restricted to manual techniques. Different types of manual methods. There's hand wipe, hand vacuum, hand brushing, hand scrape, air lance and biocide disinfection. This slide shows table six, the dry cleaning methods. First is the air whip skipper ball, again using compressed air and generally consists of a rubber hose or plastic ball that under pressure agitates the wall of the ductwork. There's an air lance, again using compressed air but at low volume, usually an air gun and a trigger that is able to direct compressed air. Then there's air nozzle, using compressed air at high volume, usually a plastic or metal ball placed on the end of a flexible hose. Compressed air leaving small openings in the ball propels the hose forward, inducing the nozzle to closely traverse the internal surface of the duct. Then there's hand wipe, which is again is a manual method, wiping the surface using a medium appropriate to the purpose, such as a, a cleaning cloth with a solvent. Hand scrape, a manual method, removing heavy deposits by hand scraping. Then there's hand brushing, Again, a manual method, brushing the surface using a brush appropriate for the purpose. Then mechanical brushing using compressed air or electricity. Brushing the surface of the duct using a mechanical action. Mechanical brush and air technology combined. This uses electricity or compressed air. Brushes the surface of the ductwork using a mechanical action as well as compressed air at the same time. Here we have table 7 showing the wet cleaning methods. There's wet vacuum, which is, uses suction equipment to remove any moisture from damp wiping the surface of the duct. There's chemical clean, which softens and dissolves the deposits within the duct, usually on heavy grease deposits, such as kitchen extract systems. There's hand wash, the washing of the internal surface using an appropriate medium. And steam and high pressure water wash, the high pressure steam is used to dis dislodge and then dissolve the dirt from within the duct. This is usually used in conjunction with wet, wet vacuum.